my channel or welcome back to my channel whichever one suits you as you can tell by today's title i would be doing my own version of a vogue you know makeup tutorial like pretend like i'm a celebrity pretend like i'm like a famous doctor who just like loves beauty content and does that as a side job aka hobby because that's literally what i'm gonna do let's get into it it's gonna be quick easy and simple i'm a beginner friendly makeup girl i don't do a lot of stuff to my face so i used to wear a primer but i don't wear it anymore because i'm like it's like an extra cost that i don't feel like i need because i don't wear makeup a lot and when i do wear makeup i literally am not doing anything that's like causing for my prime my primer to need to be there you know i have dry skin but the cerave does enough I apply my lotion like this. I was taught by my grandma to like go like this, push away from my face. I don't know if that'll benefit me once I get older, but right now, I mean, I'm just 24. I can't really be the judge of if it's working or not, but yeah. So now my face is fucking red. The next thing that I do is I use Edge Booster. Yeah, Edge Booster on my brows just to push them bitches up like see how they look right now i got my brows threaded and they were fucking painful but i think i like how my brows look threaded because they look thick like thick these are my brows like these th nothing is here you know what i'm saying and this is all me and i like that so it's, it's not giving bushy brow thick it's just giving you know i have brows like that type of vibe anyways i got my brows threaded and i think i like it more than wax like the look of it but it's far more painful and the pain you have to like sit through for like uh, like two minutes on each eye depending on how fucking fast the, the lady move anyways what am i talking about this is not the right brush to use but because i use this on my edges with style booster and i also use it on my brows i'm like who gives a fuck is they're both hair it is 9 13 p.m and i'm on like a caffeine high that's me caffeine sensitive bitches unite i'm about to go in with my Anastasia, focus on Anastasia. The lighter side typically fits me better, so that's who we don't go with. I just lightly carve into my brows, like I don't put a lot of brow product products. Like I don't really like the really dark brow on me. Like I like it on other people, but not on me. I think I look fucking stupid. You see the gel <laughs> residue? It works if you have really like curly brows. I don't have super duper curly brows, but I have curly brows in general. And the Style Booster keeps my brows in place, which is the only thing I care about staying in place. I feel like I have, you know, decent skin, so I'm not really worried about my scent, my skin seeping through my foundation. Like I don't mind because it, it still looks nice. The brows though, that'd be the biggest problem. I am carving out my brows if you need it to know that. Carving in my brows, I'm using, I supposed to tell you how the products that I'm using. I just told you I use CeraVe. Okay, I, I, I haven't. I'm all, sorry. This is 45 Tan and the Fit Me Concealer, okay? I've had this for like a year now. It is still here. I need a new battery. Wow. I have come back from putting my battery in and I feel like I was too fucking like y'all were too high up. So what I did was I took my very cheap black elf brush, you call it? Blending brush, yeah. And I just blended out my motherfucking eyebrows like that. Love that for her. Love that for her. I don't even talk like that for real. Okay, I just put more moisturizer on my face because I'm about to go in with foundation. I don't use any type of What's the word? We have hyperpigmentation, you try to cover it up. Like color correcting. I don't do color correcting. I just deal with the fact that it looks like I have a mustache mark in my mouth and just hope that my foundation does enough to like make it look better. And I'm using NARS. I think this is the Sheer Glow. Um, love her. She's like a good color match for me. And I'm here for it. I just like to put my makeup on this side of my face, on this side, and then around my mouth. 
I probably put more foundation around my mouth than anywhere else because I have a little bit left over. I'm just gonna put the rest like this. Yeah, okay. I use the RT204 buffing brush. Here is the name. So I'm just gonna circle it around, but not like literally doing this. I'm just dousing it in my skin in a circular motion. That just works for me. The foundation is blended. Look at it, it's giving skin. I'm about to take this off because I am sweaty. My hair is pinned, curled, you know? Next step is concealer. We love her. And I'll just put it here And then I'll put it following my eye line. I just follow whatever I see here and I go upward. So I don't want people to think I'm trying to like create an eye shape that I don't have. I'm just following that line and that's just where it ends up. So that's that. We will let her sit for a moment. Sometimes I'll add concealer on my forehead and maybe right here but most of the time I don't do that because I don't really feel like I have to and I don't really care for the look itself I never really want to look look snatched if I wanted to look snatched I would go to a professional truly honestly now that I have the concealer kind of on for like a few seconds I don't leave it on too long too long I'm using a blending brush and I like to go around my concealer area it tends to look better when I do it like this instead of when I use a sponge. I want to upgrade my concealer. Like, I want to get better quality makeup. But I'm just, like, spending the money on it. It's just crazy to me. I just spent money on this Fenty Beauty, the red lip stain. And I regret it. Because I, I don't even like lipstick. I don't even like red lipstick at that. So why would I get a lip stain? I'm about to go in with some blush. Y'all don't get the true color of it. It doesn't look that bright in real life. Oh, it's coming there a little bit. Okay. Rimmel London Maxi Brush Blush. It smells something. Powder, and I'm just gonna swirl it around. Mind you, I'm not gonna use all this. I just tap it on here. I want a better brush, um, blush too, so. I don't even know where to put this shit. I just really be freestyling. So I just go wherever my cheeks area is and I just swirl it around there. I don't really put too much thought into it. Now we're gonna go in with the same buffing brush that I use for my foundation, just to make sure that things are kind of looking more cohesive. We shall go in with the contour for the medium to dark True Complexion Contour Palette. I think it's Black Radiance. I think that's the brand name. Wait, do I have the softener on? Bitch. That wasn't, that was not the intention. I swear to God. Man, everything is going wrong. Let's just go ahead and go on to lips. We are going to now go in with our LA Girl pencil in dark brown. I'm going to add in some beauty marks. That's what my mom would call them. They're not moles, but these are real. Like these are, this is actually on my face. It's one right here, but I put foundation over it. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. So I just go back in and add those. And I have another one in my brow right here. I don't really care for those to be covered, so I just re-emphasize them. Focus! I'm a dark liner, round lip type girl. I know some people who call it like booty hole lips. They, they say you need to leave that in the 90s, in the 80s. They don't think it's cute. I don't care. I like it. I think it looks cute, so I'm going to do it. The eyelashes that I use are typically from Walmart. I forgot the brand. But just know it's like the really thin lashes. And whenever I put on lashes, I cut some of the lash in order to... Is it going to focus? 
OG YouTube. But yeah, I'm gonna cut some of the lash portion off just to fit my eyes better. I'm gonna do my lashes off of screen and then I'm gonna come back and you're gonna see lashes on my face. I just wanna let you know that I put lashes on, okay? We're back and I have on my lashes. They look different, very different. Next, I'm gonna go back in with my LA Girl Dark Brown Pencil. I need to sharpen it a little bit more because I'm about to use this for my inner corners. In that area, yeah. And then I'm gonna go underneath my, you know, on my bottom lash and then push up to help these fucking lashes look better. <laughs> Illiterate bitch. I'm just blending out my motherfucking liner for my lip. Just soften it a little. I was gonna use the Fenty, but I changed my mind. Instead, I'm gonna use my dirty ass gloss butter from NYX Cosmetics. And this is in the shade creme creme boule creme boule whatever i'm about to put it on my lip i need to actually wipe it down because it does have some brown liner already on here and i like how it looks when it doesn't have that so i'm just gonna use a regular tissue i only really apply it to the bottom of my lip hold on what the hell swirl up in now Oh, this is so cute. Oh! Just like that. Now we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational just to make our real lashes blend better at the bottom because this glue should be completely dry by now. I also like to add a little bit of mascara on my inner lash, like my real lashes, just because it's there. <laughs> we are literally finished with my face. Like, literally, this is all I do. This is all I got. Now, I'm gonna take down my hair. pins out of my head if you see one while I'm running my hands through it hopefully I see it but if I don't see it don't judge me but this is blowout relaxed hair they have a specific collection and I'll just leave it down in the description box if you are interested I have so much energy right now wow this is my go-to makeup let me add some lip gloss I will also and regular clear gloss over this as well but right now i'm kind of feeling the not too glossy but noticeably glossy look i don't want it to be like wet glossy so i'm okay with how it looks right now so i don't have to add anything extra to it gotta get my hair situated i could brush the curls out to have a bigger ones but my hair is gonna fall anyways and i'm okay with how it looks right now do y'all think we should do a slow motion do they do slow motions in Vogue videos? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to get one more look at the makeup, at the face. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling how I look. And I'm going to do this look for Christmas as well with the same outfit. Because I'm not buying another one. I should show you the whole outfit. It's just a regular candy cane looking ass pajama set from H&M. And it was like... $30. Um, so I do want to thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for coming to my Vogue edition, Siobhan style. Um, if you enjoyed, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what your favorite part was. Comment down below what you use in your makeup routine. What you want to add? What you think I need to do? Um, now I'm just talking because I feel cute. Like, girl, shut the fuck up.